Hello friends and welcome back to What the Health with Dr. L. In continuation of our series on food for immunity, today I'm going to discuss with you the types of food that help us have healthy microbiome, mainly healthy bacteria that live in our gut. And that's really important to support our immune system. Uh, healthy microbiome supports our immune system by regulating our immune homeostasis. Uh, these types of food lie within two categories, probiotics and prebiotics. The probiotics are the types of food that contain active live bacteria, beneficial bacteria of course, and the prebiotics are the foods that contain fibers and polyphenols that feed the good bacteria that already live in our gut. I'm going to give you a few examples of each as to probiotics, we have yogurt, uh, plain whole milk yogurt with no sugar added. It has a lot of uh, friendly, beneficial bacteria to us. And it's usually uh, well tolerated by everybody, including people who might be lactose intolerant because the bacteria turns the lactose into lactic acid. That's why uh, yogurt has this sour taste to it. Uh, when you buy yogurt, just make sure that it has no added sugar and it says that it has active live bacteria or pro probiotics. We also have kefir that is fermented milk and kefir provides us with a wide variety of uh, bacteria, different strains of bacteria and yeast uh, that are beneficial to us. And it's uh, also in general well tolerated by everybody, including people who might be lactose intolerant. We also have sauerkraut, that is the finely shredded cabbage uh, that has been fermented by a lactic acid bacteria. Uh, sauerkraut uh, is a great source for beneficial bacteria, but uh, it also has uh, good uh, vitamins for us, like vitamin C, vitamin, vitamin K, and vitamin B as well. Uh, we also have pickles. Pickles, uh, uh, these are the cucumbers that have been fermented in uh, a solution that has uh, sea salt and water. Okay, and uh, these pickles uh, are also a very good source for uh, active life bacteria. Just make sure that uh, the cucumbers have not been pickled in vinegar because uh, vinegar uh, kills uh, the active live bacteria. So we want uh, uh, pickles that, uh, uh, that are in uh, a solution that has salt and water, no vinegar added. Uh, also cheese, uh, fermented cheese is a good source uh, for probiotics, especially uh, Gouda cheese, uh, cheddar cheese, uh, cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, and blue cheese. In terms of uh, prebiotics, uh, we really need to eat a variety, wide variety of fruits and vegetables um, and uh, legumes as well. Uh, and the more variety we eat, we eat, the more we feed different strains of bacteria. We don't just want to eat, uh, you know, a few, uh, a few types of fruits and vegetables like we like apple and bananas and blueberries. That's, that's all we eat. We need to also add other things, uh, you know, other fruits, uh, pears and uh, uh, oranges. And, you know, the more variety we add, the more we end up with more strains of good beneficial bacteria to us. Also legumes like uh, chickpeas and beans and uh, uh, peas uh, and lentils. Uh, great for us as well. Uh, also, uh, the food that contains polyphenols like uh, green tea and uh, grape skin and also uh, cocoa and chocolate and broccoli and onions uh, and uh, almonds. Uh, these are great types of food to help feed the good bacteria. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Until next time, you guys stay safe, stay well, stay kind, and please remember to hit the subscribe button and share all this good information with everybody you love.